My dad and the rest of the crew are out in Tennessee for the Smoky Mountain Jeep invasion. Um, they're, they're the ones that normally cover the recoveries in this area. That fan's loud. We got a call for, I think, a Suburban that said he took a wrong road, but now he's stuck, so we're just gonna go get him out. Yep. I also have something I wanna tell you guys. There he is. Man, I would say he took a wrong road. Should be pretty simple, just pull him back up. So, I've been giving this Walls clothing a try for the past couple weeks, and I've been nothing but impressed with how their pants are holding up. Got these Walls assured me that they'd be the most comfortable and most durable pants that I've ever worn while working. So, that's a pretty good assurance. Not far enough forward. You gotta pay the bills somehow. And if you're like me, that means they have to be durable. Is this out of gas? Okay, ready? Are you in neutral? brand for all your outdoor workwear needs and they don't just have pants they've also got shirts like this jackets high vis you name it got it i put the link in the description for you guys to discover wolves for yourself you got someone coming with gas Driving along, just slid off the bank. Very easily avoidable, but but yeah. So I'm not I'm not into mud. Anyway. We're gonna get out of this mud hole, hopefully, and then I'm gonna show you why my Jeep's so muddy in the first place. If you think I did this on purpose, I am sorry, but I, I did not. Look at that truck. And a, a posse. Oh, it's full of off. That yeah, you have nothing. Oh, by the way, this is my boss, Mike. How you doing? All right. Like I said, just light pull. Like don't spin your tires. If, if you're spinning your tires, stop, and then you can hit me.
work pants? You need to get yourself in there. The walls? Yeah, heck yeah. But yeah, we were doing a recovery up here. So do I get a t-shirt now from you? No, because I don't have any made. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. The mosquitoes are so bad. I guess we'll see you later. That was the highlight of my trip. <laughs> anticipate the mud that went down my back. It rained super hard last night and there's a full-size pickup truck down Rattlesnake Gulch. We've done we've done quite a few rescues down there. Down there. down there. So we've done quite a few rescues down there. Um, so it's just this is just gonna be another one. It's gonna be a muddy day. I don't have any fender flares. Look at that. Big so this is a pretty gnarly hill. It's pretty steep des descent for one. Going up it is a completely different story though. Um, and we have to decide whether or not to go up this hill or keep going further down the trail to get this guy out. So they said they don't know if the truck's four wheel drive is working and that would kind of put a damper on things if it's not. But I'm sure the Rudicon's one ton axles can get the one ton truck out. This hill is a big no-no for a lot of vehicles. There was definitely a lot of flash floods in the area and with the amount of rain, it's no surprise. So, but so far the road's looking good. in a minute. like the Rudicon or is wrecked. Arguably the same thing. <laughs> oh wow. scouted the area all the way to that swim hole and it didn't look bad at all like I didn't see anything like yeah the biggest thing I was concerned about was uh, back there at the last curve when you dip down next to that tree oh okay yeah because um, that's kind of the deciding factor for a full-size truck oh okay it's because uh, I don't like pulling things up it causes a lot more damage than trying to go down um, but uh, if we go back this way to the falls or anything is it gonna be easier so there's a way out but it's it's pretty rough too um, you said the four-wheel drive may or may not work yeah I don't think it's working is it broken front broken rear broken front okay. that's not as bad as broken rear it's stuck on that rock underneath there 
minutes yeah, from the tree side. Yeah, that's fine. So you drove forward on it, onto it, or? No, I was, so I was trying to go up around the tree, okay. and I can't make that, that turn. So I back down and try to get back here so I can try to go through this section and just bypass it. Um, it was a little dark, I couldn't really see what I was backing up into, but I backed up over this rock and then got stuck there. Okay, I'm just gonna pull forward in front of him. Get, get him hooked up, probably with a rope, and we'll just ease on forward. Just get this hooked on, and then we can... Yeah, cool. Yeah, that thing was planted on there. Like, I I can't believe he's made it this far, if I'm being honest. Um, because, yeah, full-size pickup through here is... Touch on his rim on that side. been the road in the past but it is it is all quicksand so we're gonna have to go this other way
so the reason we're running with a flat tire is yes, he had a spare, but he's already replaced it. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. pickup through here. It just doesn't work out. I can't believe I poked a hole in my grill. Yeah. I had to, it's a pretty good size hole. That hill's a little gnarly, but we'll make do. Good. 
kind of sweat. Now he's moving. Man, because I was like pulling him that whole time. Anyway, it's a really good looking truck. I really like the vibe of it. It just was not made for the trail it was on. But I'm really impressed with how far it did make it. So now we just gotta find a 37 inch tire on a 20 inch rim and he is good to go home. <sighs> also, I would like to add that driving on the flat tire is his choice. I did give him the option to pull it off now, he'll get it fixed, and then we, he can bring it back and put it on. But he'd prefer to get down to the road, closer to civilization, where, where it'll just be quicker for him. So as long as he doesn't ruin the rim, he should be okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. Well, I can get into a better path. How long did that take us, Janelle? Four hours. From what? 10.30 to 2.30. Um, okay. Four? Yeah. All right. Drives like a dream. Got it done. Man. It's one thing recovering something without damaging the vehicle, but it's another thing to recover something that should, that seems like it was dropped there by a helicopter. <sighs> yeah. And it's really, it's really, really hard to say which way would have been faster. If we would have gone back the way we came, the big hill we went down, we may have not been able to get up it. That being said, we did go through like two miles of some of the roughest terrain in Southern Utah. That guy, I was super grateful for getting him out. <laughs> I'm sure he knew what kind of situation he was in, but uh, but we have another recovery to get to. So thanks for watching.